welcome to the third of Rock Coder's Space Invader tutorials. Where we left it after the second tutorial, we have a game where the invader moves down very quickly and we can shoot him and he vanishes instantly. I think the first thing to do is to slow that invader down now. Now one way you might consider doing it is looking in the invader code, you change its position, and a pause between each movement, but we can't do that. If you go back to the manage game sprite, remember the game control loop. This executes very quickly at 30 times a second. Updates the player, updates the invaders, updates any other sprites and checks collisions and it does it very fast. If we start adding pauses to any of these broadcasts or to any of the receivers, then it's not going to work 30 times a second anymore, it's going to slow down, we're going to introduce lag into the game. And so we can't simply add a pause into the script. What we can do is add a counter. So I'll add a new variable and I'll call it counter, just for this sprite only. And when we initialize the game, we'll set the counter to zero. We'll also make a new variable called speed for all sprites. And we'll start with speed, we'll say 40. And what we're going to do is that instead of moving every time update invaders is broadcast, we're only going to move every 40th time it's broadcast, it's going to move 40 times slower. To do that, we can simply change the counter at the beginning. If the counter has reached speed, so if counter or if it's past speed, And we will subtract speed from the counter. So if if counter's got to 41, we'll take 40 off it, go back to 1. So we will change counter by 0 minus speed. And We'll allow the movement. So we're only doing the movement every 40 frames now. Let's have a look at that in action. Okay, much slower, much, much slower. But I can shoot him quite easily now, which is great for working on the explosion of the invader. So again, it moves very slowly, only one movement every 40 frames, so that's that's less than one per second. Well, that's fine for now. And to neaten the code up, I'm going to add a custom block called move invaders. And I'm going to call that here. And all this code here, which actually performs the movement of the invaders, I'll move into its own custom block. So it makes it a lot easier to read the update now. When the counters pass speed, it'll move the invaders. And that's as simple as that. Now, I have to introduce the explosion. Again, it would seem a nice idea that if the invader is touching the missile, then Changes costume to the explosion costume, pause for a while, and then hide him. But well, as already explained, we can't pause. If we add a pause to the check collision receiver, it's going to slow the whole game loop down and the game will start lagging. What we need to do is introduce a concept of states. The invader, 
for example, can be in three states. He starts off in an active state where he's marching along the screen. And he will stay in that state until he's shot, at which point he hits an exploding state. And he will stay in the exploding state until he's removed from the screen. So I'm going to add another variable called state for this sprite only. And state is going to start off as active, which just means that the invader happily marches along the screen. Okay. But if a missile hits him, we're going to change his state to exploding. We're not going to hide him anymore. All we're going to do is change the state. Now in updated invaders, it will change his appearance when he's exploding. So we'll add another block called display invaders. In display and after we've moved the invader, we'll display invaders. All display invaders does is check what state is in. If he's in a, if his state is a normal active state, then we're just displaying with his, his normal costume. Switch costume to which is three A. But if his state is exploding we need to do something different to him. We need to switch the costume to explode him, but we need to display that for a period of time. We can't add a pause there, for reasons already explained, so we're going to add a counter. We're going to create another counter called explosion counter for this sprite only. Again, we'll initialize it at the beginning of the game that explosion counter is zero. I no longer need to switch to costume at this point because it's now been done in Display Invaders. So when he's exploding, I will change explosion counter by one. And when it reaches a certain value, let's say reaches 30, so it's been on there for an entire second. So explosion counter equals 30. Then we can change his state again. And let's change to a state called idle because he's exploded. He's pretty idle now, he's not doing anything. And at this point, We can hide him and instead of game being over in the check collisions, we'll move that down so that the game is over once, once the invader has exploded. Let's see what happens if you run this code. Fire, shoot the invader. He turned to explosion, but did you notice that he was still marching on as he was exploding? That's to do with this move invaders. Now we, we don't we only want to move the invaders when he's in the active state. So let's put a, a check around this. To see if Okay, the state is active, then we'll perform the movement. But if he's exploding, then he won't move anymore. Into the display, if he's active, I'll show the invader costume. If he's exploding, I'll show the explosion costume for 30 frames, and then I'll vanish. So let's see that in action.
perfect. Shoot him, he explodes for a while. And notice also, as he's exploding, I can still move the player until the game is over. So we've covered some very important concepts there. We've slowed the invader down using a counter. We've neaten the code up so that the update loop is obvious what it's doing now. The update loop will move the invader and display the invaders. And we've added the explosion. So we've now got more of a game. There we go. And that's perfectly ready for the next tutorial where we're going to introduce an entire fleet of invaders.